Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have lost my beloved Alviso. No, my streak is over. With me, the bandit who took the jersey from me. Welcome to the channel, Max. Hey, thanks for having me, Jeff. So you guys remember Max. He was, he was in the last video. I nipped him right at the line. And I said in the last video, I said, look out for this Max guy because he's a ball of talent and he's going to start winning these Alvisos. I just wasn't expecting it so fast, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, like neither was I, actually. You deserved it, though. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk about how you executed this. And it wasn't from raw power. You're a strong dude, don't get me wrong, but we just looked at the power, right? And what was your normalized over the course of this race? Uh, I was 260. I looked at mine. Mine was 340. Granted, you're a little bit smaller of a guy than me, but this is... This is not a knock against your strength. This is how smart and how crafty you are in this sport, especially because how long you been doing this? Uh, this is my fifth month's racing. So you managed to to beat everybody. And me, who was doing 80 more watts normalized than you, you still managed to, to sneak a fast one on us and take it down. I wanted to, to get into it. I'm super excited about this video because there are a ton of learnings through here where we can talk about... You don't have to be the strongest guy to win races. So let's dive into it. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, as we're just rolling around doing our warm-up lap, um, one thing I forgot to mention, your team. Uh, I race for Cognition. Did you have any teammates out here today? Uh, no, I just came out solo. So this is a factor, too, that you have to consider because I'm usually out there solo. You guys know my typical strategy when I'm solo. Thirsty Bear, you know, is out there. San Jose, the normal hitters. Were you thinking about, like, how do I maybe pit those two guys against each other? How do I capitalize on them constantly chasing each other down? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, my strategy today was to kind of let you guys both go and attack each other and then stay in the back and try to insulate myself to save my energy um, until until I sensed weakness in the field and then <laughs> like a shark go that's for tasted it. blood. <laughs> <laughs> let, that's uh, right. I, I'm glad you said that because that is certainly how it seemed from my perspective. I want to go through the race and kind of find a couple of moments that um, that really illustrate that point. So let's let's get into it. All right. Max, we are like a half a lap into this race after our warm-up. Things are a little bit slow on front. I'm just going to do a little tester here. You know, I bring it up to like 900 watts, and I just want to see what happens. And, uh, of course, I draw out Thirsty Bear, but what about you? Yeah, I'm just in the back, just, <laughs> just like chilling. <laughs> well, it's smart because, um, yeah, like Blaine, Blaine and I probably both pretty motivated to get away, but there's 30 other riders in the field who are also motivated to chase. And plus, Blaine probably doesn't want to drag me all the way to the line. So you roll the dice here. It's not a 0% chance that we're going to stay away. But you're probably thinking, I'm going to sit back here and, and just look at Max's power compared to mine. This is another great example of that. So up the road, we have Blaine. You guys know Blaine on Thirsty Bear is crazy strong. He's forcing me to drop a bomb here to 11, 1200 watts. Uh, meanwhile, Max? Yeah, I'm just chilling in the draft, letting you go. Um, until I see Jerome go, um, and then now the, the group is getting a little too threatening, so then I jump across because uh, just I'm being selective uh, and maximizing my time in the draft. Totally. All right, so we are bringing Blaine back from yet another Thirsty Bear attack, and then here goes Jerome. You guessed it from Thirsty Bear doing this again. You guys are seeing a pattern here, and um, I have to chase this back. I cannot let these guys get away, so I have to do this surge in power. And again, Max... Yeah, and this has worked out for me so far. I mean, it seems like you guys just keep attacking each other, uh, but not really sealing the deal. So I've been able to sit in the draft, avoid those big spikes in power, and, and I just end up catching you guys the easy way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, so this funny thing happened. We got into this pattern where, like, I have Blaine and I have Jerome from Thirsty Bear attacking, and then I'm like, oh, I cannot let them get away. So I have to, <laughs> I have to do this big heroic effort to get across to them. And once I get there, I'm like, okay, I'm ready, guys. Let's start rotating. And they're like, not so fast. <laughs> We're not bringing you to the line, Jeff. So they shut it down. And I'm like, well, I'm not rotating anymore because I don't want to bring you to the line. So we kind of, and then we just kind of sit up and you are able, like you said, to get across the easy way because you are just sitting in the drafts, maybe taking a pole here and there, but more or less saving energy. And this is smart bike racing, by the way. I want to compliment you on this. You're identifying your competition and this really works out for you until, until what, Max? Until it's time to make a move, um, you know, and... There's like a few things that's happening here. One is that the pace is slowing down. And two, you know, I, I've been watching this entire race. You and Thirsty Bear have been attacking each other. So this is, the, this is where I know that you guys are going to be tired. And three, we're going into a headwind section. So this is the perfect place to attack. And so what I do is I put out 
a kind of like a little little bit of a feeler here where yeah i ramp it up to about 800 watts and then right here is when i see that these two riders are breaking off from the field and then so I actually ramp it down to about 400 300 watts and my goal here was to try to make like a smooth contact with these brake riders because these are going to be the people that i that are going to take me uh to the finish line no, that was a brilliant move, Max. And, and you got this sport figured out um, in, in just a few months, what most people haven't figured out in, in 10 years. So I want to commend you on that because you're totally right. Like, we don't want to chase. Uh, Thirsty Bear doesn't want to chase on behalf of me. I don't want to chase on behalf of Thirsty Bear. We're just looking at each other. We're tired from all the work we've done. And then meanwhile, up the road, you guys are just rolling smooth turns now up in the breakaway. And uh, this was a fantastic move. But truth be told... I am threatened by you up the road. I mean, you almost won last week. So I'm going to wait for this crosswind. I'm going to send it off to the, into the gutter here, and I'm going to see um, if I can maybe carve out a few seconds into the lead that you've already established. Like, you're already pretty much out of sight. That's how quickly it can happen if you stop pedaling in a headwind. But um, this is tricky because we have to start chasing now, and we've spent the last 30 minutes attacking each other, and now we have to start ch chasing and helping each other. So it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic, and this, this race is completely changed now. We're kind of in phase two of this race. And um, apparently Thirsty Bear isn't very happy with the situation either, but they decide they're, they weren't, they're trying to attack across. Like, they're, they're not going to rotate turns with me, so this is another 1,000-odd effort, and man, this, this is just hurting. We only have 6Ks to go. Max is smoothly rotating off the front, and I am still continuously being counterattacked by Thirsty Bear. Um, and this is rough. I mean, it's just still, it's just like one after another attack, counterattack, blah, 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 until eventually Blaine puts this one in and I crack. I can no longer respond, so I eventually have to let this one go. There's, there's just no more coal I can shovel into the furnace. <laughs> I am done. <laughs> the tank is empty, whatever analogy you want to use. And uh, Blaine is gone. He sneaks away. Um, I find it unlikely he will be able to bridge across to Max. I wait for the crosswind. I give it one more college try, but it's just too little, too late for me. Um, meanwhile, up the road. Yeah, I'm just rolling smooth turns. <laughs> I'm so jealous um, because this is, uh, this is the quickest way to the finish line, quite frankly. And um, you remember back in my footage how when Blaine snuck away? Well, he here comes Blaine, solo bridging. He did make it, but it took a very serious effort for him to come across. Yeah, that's right. And honestly, like when I saw Blaine bridge up, I was really happy for two reasons. One is that I knew he had just done a huge effort to get here. So I, you know, this is probably going to take a look, take away from his final sprint. Um, and then two is that, you know, Blaine is actually like a really big, like firepower. And then he's better uh, serving me up here in the break than he would be in the field. So now we, we have like three really powerful riders left. We're half a lap to go here, uh, and the final selection has been made. It's just Dennis, Blaine, and me. Um, and I had just taken my last pull, but they don't know that yet. <laughs> well, why is that? Why is that your last pull? Yeah, you know, I we're coming up in this like second to last corner here, and I really just want to be third wheel. So you're waiting. You're waiting. You want to uh, sprint from the back. I, I agree. I would want to do that too. You're, so you're waiting for kind of a you know 150 meters, 200 meters. Yeah, that's really like what, what what I'm going for because like last week, you know, like I had learned that I'm really not a thousand meters to go kind of guy, and you know, also like between these three people, I know that Dennis has a pretty good sprint, um, and Blaine typically does. But you know, I I'm kind of thinking he did a big bridge effort. Yeah, he did, he just did such a big bridge he effort. He made it. I wasn't expecting him <laughs> to make it. To be perfectly honest, so that was a good job on him to make it. But yeah, I think he. He burned through all of his energy to, to get across. And and are you worried about getting caught behind? Like, are you still checking behind you at this point? 600 meters to go. Yeah, no. So I've been constantly looking backwards to see. And, like, at this point, I'm feeling pretty safe that we're not going to get caught. So, But, like, here I start to play some games where I, like, let the wheels go. So, so Blaine had just pulled off. So you know it's going to be one of you three. That's right. So here I just did 1,000 watts. And then, you know, because, like, Dennis just uncorked. Dennis, then, Dennis went for a long – Dennis is basically leading this out. This is surprising to me. Right. And then – you know, he here, looks back, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. And then see, like, so now I'm still staying in Blaine's draft, but then Dennis swings off. And then this is when I know that this is when I, it's gotta, when I have to go because, like, the pace slowed down just a little bit. You want to preserve your speed. That's right. Um, and then it, it also catches them off guard, too, because, you know, Dennis slowed down, then Blaine slows down. And then you immediately step on it. Uh, that's and right. And caught him by surprise. You got that separation. 
Blaine just didn't quite have that snap that he usually does. Um, it might have been, uh, you know, us beating up on each other, tacking each other's faces off for the <laughs> first 30 minutes of that race. And then a heroic bridge effort by Blaine. Um, so, Max, congrats, man. The new king of Alviso. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well deserved. I, you are definitely a guy to look out for. I'm looking forward to doing more racing with you. I appreciate you being here on the channel. Yeah, and thanks for having me, Jeff. Catch you guys in the next one.